new year. Pretentious shots of things. Revamped to look slightly different than the ones before. The camera pulls back farther to reveal a dickhead. <laughs> All right. This is it. Welcome to 2015. It's all new and shiny. Yet again, I have shaved my face. To signify what exactly? Uh, the fact that I shaved my face. Doesn't have to have any meaning. I just got bored, really. I kind of miss what my chin looked like. Thanks to a lot of Christmas food, I have about eight of them now. See? Oh, look at all these chins. Oh. So this is the new year, of course. Everybody wants to resolve to make new goals in the new year. And I don't really go in with all that New Year's resolution like give up twatting badgers for a living or staring angrily at the homeless or something. No, no, none of that. You've got to have goals, actual goals that are achievable and you know you're not going to welch out on. It's all very well good saying, yeah, I'll give up pies. But as soon as you see a pie in the shops, you're all suddenly fawning over it like some nightclub whore. Disgusting. I personally have some goals for this year. Last year was like a roller coaster of crazy. That just means that this year I have a greater drive to not suck. Those of you who saw the Christmas vlog would know that I've got a new job now. It is a nice designy job, but it's all sit down at a desk, do your work, focus. And I'm used to running around a shop and going, ah, oh, rare. So my goal is obviously to not suck at that, do awesome at that, go up the career ladder. Those three things kind of mashed into one kind of thing. I'm supposed to be writing a book. Writing a book that you don't know much about the subject matter of, such as this one, uh, it's just a lot like diving headfirst into a pool full of treacle without the correct safety gear. You don't know what to expect and you realise only as soon as you've dove in there that you're very ill prepared and you're going to sink in a very sticky mess. I have to do lots of research and then just do it, write it, smash it and who knows, that will be my goal. Aside from uh, writing books and not sucking at a desk job, got to move out of this tiny, tiny little hamster cage that me and my girlfriend have put ourselves into last year. This is a studio apartment so as, as many angles as I pretend this place has, it only really has one room. So when, when you invite people over or whatever, they're too drunk, they can pass out on the couch, you can go to your bedroom rather than just walking across the room to the bed. You just can't have that private area that if you want to pass out first and not get a dick scribbled onto your face is very unlikely to happen. I mean, if you've got a door separating you, you could hear the door opening and go, ha ha, ha 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 Place with more rooms in it, albeit the same size as this place, will significantly increase our social and domestic lives. Once we've got all that ridiculous expense out of the way, the plan is to go on holiday. I really want to go somewhere in Europe. Just want to get out of the country for a couple of weeks, just see another culture, immerse myself in another culture, because London, very big melting pot of cultures, nobody talks to each other and it kind of just mashes into one big grey mess really. So that will be nice to go on holiday. Now I have noticed in 2014 I had neglected a lot of my friends because I was too busy trying to start my career, get by monetarily with the flat and everything and focus on my relationship with my girlfriend. But now the year has passed and I've realised that I've fallen out of contact with not just the people that live really far away. Now I'm talking about people that live comparatively down the road and I just haven't got to see them because I just suck. I'm really sorry guys, I just suck. I'm currently in the process of trying to reconnect with everyone. This video, very proof of it. Come visit me. I'm not going to tell you the exact address, it's the internet, I'm not stupid. You're very welcome, you can come stay, sleep on our many surfaces that we have and have a cup of tea, it's fine, you know, just socialise and I'll come to you and we go to the pub when I've got money and it will be good. Reconnect with old friends and make more of an effort to not suck at being a friend. Uh, just some other sort of bits and bobs here that don't really matter very much. Renew my driving license which has got my 17 year old mugshot on it. That's not really relevant and I can't use it to drive if I want to get a car, which may not happen in this year. If we're going to move I need to rent a van and then it would have ran out. So now that I have more of a sit down job, I've noticed that I'm going to be getting a bit of a spread. My chins will probably multiply as well. So I've really got a get on the fitness bandwagon. Doesn't mean going to the gym and sculpting my abs and eating 12 chickens a week and all that stuff. It's just being a bit healthier. I walk as much to work and from work as I possibly can without it being ridiculous. So it still is five miles away. I'm not going to do the entire journey on foot. That's just 
That's just silly, isn't it? When I'm at work, make more of an effort to eat healthily rather than just wolfing down crisps and chocolate all the time. I've moved to apples and orange juice, which is really cliche. I think I'm gonna be feeling a little bit better for it, to be honest. Those are my goals. Basically, don't suck, do better at a career, write a book, get fitter, be a better friend, grow my beard back, because I'm already regretting it, because they look horrible. <laughs> what are your goals? I want to know what your goals are for this year. Just come up with something really original. I mean, really think about it. Don't just say, oh, I'm gonna smoke less or drink less because that's shit. You know, you shouldn't give up a vice just because you think that's the thing you should do. You should really think about what you want to do and then just get out there and do it. I say that a lot. It's a kind of a mantra of mine, get out there and do it, but it's what I preach and I'm trying to practice it as well. That's it from me. Expect to see more of me in the coming weeks, I really hope. I've got some ideas finally. It's all coming together. Really. I don't know what I was trying to do there. That wasn't innuendo, was it? I don't know. That's me done for this week. Alrighty then.